Hello everybody. We are going to start another edition of World of Warships Forum News. Today should be a lot shorter considering considering what's going on. Not much happened today besides Sub Octavian replying to the thread. So we're gonna get right into it. We're going to this is the same thread we covered the other day. We're just covering it. See here, same thread from yesterday. We're just covering it today. So I wanted to start with user role here. X, retired CC, as it were. Still see he's got his, got that going on. All right, so we're going to start with this by user role. So Ensign C said, this was done by single role within the company who was dealt with and they promptly issued an apology. User responds with, and while Wargaming St. Petersburg deserves full credit and for owning and correcting that mistake, they should be looking at the underlying error. Management delibery, del deliberately or otherwise have apparently created an office culture where someone high enough, high enough up the chain thought to create a giveaway code that a somewhat mangled rendition of will ask you Bleep, you Terry was would either pass unpunished or even get quiet approval from management. They won't do it in public. Who would? But if St. Petersburg's management aren't doing some private soul searching over this, it's only a matter of time to the next bang. On the topic of what Sub Octavian has said, I note that all these are mid to long term deliver deliverable, so I'm gonna make a prediction. If there is a quasi gambling of event attached to Soviet launch cycle, then people will conclude that Wargaming has been blowing smoke and a lot of it promising ops in West Virginia 1944 here and elsewhere to try to calm things down before slipping right back into the same war gambling habits. A couple of suggestions then. Don't attach gambling or quasi-gambling to at least the Soviet CV launch. I suspect a lot of people would append any future launch to that but one step at a time it would serve as an indi indicator that war gaming had listened and was changing its ways the best bit it doesn't even need that much effort all you have to do is is not do something if you must have loot boxes and other similar mechanics borrow from legends and explicitly state the odds of each outcome that way people who decide to indulge will at least be doing so fully informed the reason why Legends, World of Warships Legends, the console port, and World of Warships Blitz have uh, the odd state is because Sony, Microsoft, and Apple and Google tell them, hey, you got to show the odds for random mechanics. But there's no big entity that's telling them to do that on PC. The only big entity I can think of that could possibly do that is Steam. Steam and wherever else that. No, it's only Steam because I don't think there's anywhere else where you can download the World of Warships from besides Steam or Microsoft Store. I believe it's just Steam. All right, that and the War Gaming site, yada, yada, yada. All right, here we go. Right into Sub Octavian's responses on the thread because this was the big thing that happened today. I know I'm a bit late on this, but I have a, I have a job and I, I get to these things when I can. Let's match this is all being done for free for you guys. All right, somebody, Plan Homes, was asking Sub, simple questions. Why can't you do camo for the Yukon? How much time would you have needed to implement this camo? Two, why was Missouri credit calculation not checked before releasing it? Maybe I'm oversimplifying it, but a few games and tests would have shown the calculation was incorrect. It was said that you required data to make a fix from Missouri calculation, but don't you... But don't you have months of data already? Is it possible to put the odds of winning at, fr at the first for loot boxes and random bundles? Or better yet, an, an idea for the chances to win? And Sub says, hello, sure, simple answers. Because it is not something we specifically agreed with to Mouse and Shobi. We agreed to creating a Canadian ship with Camo and committed to it publicly. I will get in touch with them and clarify and already ask evil... Evil in one and a to help to make sure cultural barriers won't be a trouble. 
Two, you are oversimplifying this TBA. Ship earnings are not that easy. They are quite complicated. And on top of that, Missouri economics was different from different tier nine premium ships, not only with built-in bonus. It's a legacy system, which was practically unique to the, to the ship. The change was not change the formula one place and it work. You may even call it a rework. And in such case, only sufficient data may proof if the change was correct. We'd, we did due diligence, but what we need to see how it works in reality. Once the data before, but we also need some data after too for the reason explained above. We already got some data already. Jeez. Better see something in 10.8 sub Octavian. 10.9 at the latest. Four, that's the direction we will consider. I can't comment more on it right now, but hopefully more info will follow later. As for Missouri random bundles, the chances are very straightforward. As you see, the number of total possible bundles, and it is limited. The chances are equal to all polls. Logically grow with each non-Missouri poll you have. I don't know about that. Because C. Lord Mount Bond did a poll, and it didn't add up right. It felt like the odds were different because a lot of people were getting on the first to... 10th poll and a lot at the end, not a lot of people in the middle. Didn't see a, stre a steady pro progression, unlike before with uh, Joe Hondewitt. So they kind of tweaked the odds in the favor at the end and the starting at the end of it. Just kind of silly. All right, here we are on to the next one. He said something else. As for gambling, as much as we think Wilds is not a pay-to-win game, I was researchable better than Missouri. Besides signals, there's nothing that really gives an edge. There's some premierships are up. And it's Galio Cesare as the title, as the thumbnail for this. I say by Mr. Gibbons, many are prone to gamble. What are you doing right now with Legends? He links uh, the set site. I would suggest you include odds of winning for certain prizes. You do it for Legends, why not PC? There are platform regulations which do not apply to PC. As I said bef above, I can't comment more on it right now, but I understand the request you bring it will be considered. TBH is one of the things we've been considering lately seeing. Such feedback makes me more certain it is worth serious discussion. Thank you. Microsoft, Sony, Google, Apple. That's why they have the odds. Nobody's coming down on them. Steam's not coming down on them to put the odds out there, which I wish they would do. But then they'd probably just close off Steam port and make it all just through the WGC Wargaming client. As for gambling, obviously all random base sales has been hotter. It's been a hotter and hotter topic in the industry. I know it's not us or players to determine the status of random stuff in games, it's government and regulators. As a business will always follow laws and comply with the regulations as they appear. We always do deal due diligence to comply. We'll keep doing it. In some cases, we'll even try to work ahead of industry practices because we are aware they were slowly progressing, slowly progressing trends to regulate the digital space more and more, catch up with technical solutions and business models. We try to keep our approach balanced and not try to lock anything behind random mechanics. As with recent events, I hope that you understand that we try to be more flexible and admit our mistakes. For example, the initial design of the Missouri event was bad and we adjusted it. Huh. I wonder if that has something to do with the 75 loot boxes that we saw leaked out by Ford by Flamo. And their design is to make you go through the time-gated web campaign to get Missouri and then buy it. Or even at the end of that, if you have doubloons, you got to message support with the exact number of doubloons, 19,500, I believe, and have them added to your port. It's kind of silly. I just want to make as much money as possible by the looks of things. Greedy, greedy wargaming. If what you say is true and miners are nearly insignificant, the Peggy 18 would not be a big deal. There would be no confusions about loot boxes and miners. Peggy 18 sub says Peggy 18 would bring other issues specifically in terms of advertising. We don't target children, but if you have 18 plus, it creates a lot of problems with playing. seen ads on many general platforms at the same time. We don't use adult stuff that have connected limitations bonus part we'll technically be able to do collabs with beer not just sausages in any case we'll apply for evaluation see the results but looking at 
dozens of games around. I don't personally believe we qualify as 18 plus to avoid any kind of confusion about loot boxes and miners. That's something I've really somewhat your statement. And we do have some ideas and discussion on our own. Why don't you discuss what the ideas are, sub? Why don't you? UConn is one example of them breaking their lies and promises seen in this post. Okay, let's open it up. Dear community, while the investigation is clear, please accept my sincerest apologies from Evelyn. Watch over Liz Don Betrius. We need more time. Please bear with us until then. Well, while we're here, we should probably go to here. This is going back a couple of this is going back a couple of weeks here, so bear with me. All right. Be happy to implement a permanent camo based on your ship uh, designs if you'd be interested. Chase, why are you agreeing with him? Ugh. Sometimes I believe that people need to take a... Need to be more precise in what they say, honestly. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to do some looking around here. Sorry. I don't expect to be back in this thread again. There is a whole response he gave in here. Straight jumping to 45. I think it's in there. Talking about the design. Trying to see if it was in here. You can hear me furiously scrolling through this one. Is this? No, that's just the. That's okay. There's another response. We've got an agreement to proceed on each. We'll be working on an alternative camo, so they don't specifically say Sackville camo here. I think there's a fiery response from Mouse in there here, too. Alright, Chibitsu, I just am trying to focus on the main appetizers in this. I kind of covered a lot of this already. And then again, this is July 12th. This is going back. Communication channels need to be need to need to work or be removed respect time sense of needs stop hiding behind apologies need more than just an apology which he was meaning implement the Sackville camo please stop scapegoating solve the initial problem even so many weeks later they still haven't they still haven't uh, implemented Sackville all this could have been avoided Darren will be here. Replacement, ask a ban. I try to throw some Marines at him. Well, obviously, this is before the CC Exodus. See that Wargaming didn't follow through on their word. So back to the thread here. And again, those mouse statements are from July 12th, specifically along with the sub Octavian statements from before. This is all stuff that happened on August 31st that we're looking at here today. Oh, when the video goes out, it's going to be September 1st. Well, technically, it is September 1st right now, but in the wee hours of it. <sighs> Lying is intentionally due to cheat, right? UConn was a huge and obvious fan of that because people lie because we did a very poor job in putting resignations. I apologize for this personally. We've already started fixing. Worked out a sign of apologies by both Moss and and a new ship. I didn't expect anyone to treat us well because it's being a massive fail. I hope you guys look at how we fix our mistakes and try to make up for them. Sure. How about you do some action, implement the Sackville camel like they have been 
politely asking for for a while. There's been no statements from Little White Mouse today. She's obviously taking a break. Response, thank you. Da, da, da. This Ar Aris Kandir kind of just likes to pony up to wargaming. What is up your ass? Boxes are bad. Jeez, that guy needs to get needs to get with the needs to get with stuff. No do not believe in the pay to win and pay to win approach to design comment and signals removed. We added them to missions. We'll talk about premium consumables, not really important. AI talks about AI scenarios. It's bigger than AI is connected with C V rework. A lot of internal tools obsolete working. Right now we're in the process of removing the obstacles it's being worked on for many reasons, not just the side of app with of operations, but the benefits we'll have when this project is done is we'll be able to return to the return the old old ops. Okay. Why did Nara come back then? Honestly. Talk about PvE. Not gonna have the same priority as PvP, more events, not count on PvE. Keep it simple. Let me quote some mouse here. Still looking at them in isolation. Of course, this was August 30th, not today. Disappointing, sad. She'll be nine, not having our time respect. It was more present issue, 16 months. Still not adding in Sackville, dismissing and gaslighting. She'll be nine is a key issue. We went out of our way. Thoughts, nobody checking up on them. Can you understand? Can you understand the underlying issue with me? You can right best add the sacrifice. That's not going to make the last point right. Wargaming did not does not want to listen. So what you need to fix. Your does not matter if you're not willing to correct this. You kind of not resolved. Okay, and then he says, Look, I'm not sure I fully understand the situation from your point of view, but I want to. I'm sorry there's still a lack of understanding in these emotions. So you are sounding like a fucking machine here. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care if I'm swearing in this video. That's, I'm going to have it only for adults like watching this anyway. I don't want to draw children into the game. I will ask someone competent from NA team to do to join our Discord chat and try to discuss with you and Shobi again. Let's try that. Let's try again. Okay, maybe there's some cultural divide here. I'll be fair and say that. But I've actually worked with a Ukrainian woman before, and we got along great. And she told me that Ukrainians are about getting stuff done. They really try to do a lot of stuff on their own, and they really are. Really are some. She was really one of the hardest working people I ever worked with. <laughs> she probably slapped Sub across the face for his poor representation of that culture. I was 16, I moved past cartoons, da 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 da. It's a mascot mostly used on Wargate, mostly used on YouTube, so the presence. It's not designed to appeal to children, it's just chilly, fun, good meme potential. As for data, I'm not sure we don't ask several themed artists. Gave birth that. So I think what largely happened with CCs is a cultural problem. This is sip soup. Where gamers should learn to approach Western culture and how to deal with it and the better sell their project here and not just push push their ways with us. And what we should learn is from them and find a middle ground. Business model not very likable for us. Adapt culture. Push a lot of people right away with their ways of earning money. I agree we should pay more attention to different cultural aspects. In the past instances, as a business model, I understand your point, but the model is dictated by several factors. There's a specific setting. We have a big but not huge audience, relatively more casual, less niche. We experimented a lot, unfortunately. What works for a casual looter shooter in a sci-fi setting with audience 10 times bigger will not always work for a more niche and nuanced game like ours. So it's very important being niche is our game is very complex and requires a lot of work for the done. We... Will we survive if we used only stuff like ship cameras for monetization? Probably yes, no require. 
That would require to dismiss, dismiss most of the team, cancel most of the plans, and generally put the game on maintenance mode. It's not the way we believe in. What are your big plans? Because we certainly haven't gotten new maps in a while. Is everyone mag magically overlooking the possible federal and European investigating them for money laundering? And they says, what you refer to as fake news, doing some basic research to clear that this topic is connected by one email present on several websites. Seeing this particular email result, Cygram 45K results, one of the biggest fake news websites. Will not further discuss fake news. All posts will be deleted. Well, yeah. Whenever I tried to post links to articles, they got deleted and I got stuck in forum jail for three days. Seriously. I cover the articles themselves and it's just for fun too. It's a live stream I did around the time of this. It's just for fun. One covers the Yukon stuff pretty well. Obviously you gotta move the video around about an hour in to get to the, the juicy details. We'll live up to it. Da, 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 da. Cosmetics. This is where he tries to run away. Uh, there's a good response in here, I believe. Start from here, Silver Moon. Let's keep higher loot higher. Communication, miscommunication. And then he chooses to respond to Sailor Moon. Yeah, and then there's me. Yeah, this is literally, I, I literally just woke up when I was looking at this and I was like, what the hell? And I plug IRL Gray, which I think is trying to make a change to help out the community more. Check out some of his videos if you can. Okay, this is the big, this is the big whammy right here. So I'm going to try to talk the whole thing. So sub responds to this post. It's a higher level hover miscommunication. Will game needs to stop. Needs to own up to its mistakes. And yes, hover base, this game is already more monetized as is with premium shop I offerings, random bundles, and loot boxes. I think loot boxes can remain only if they're Available for an in-game resource such as cool, nothing more. War gaming World of Warships does not need loot boxes, especially as additional monetization. And then Sub says, I agree wholeheartedly about the need to communicate. And then he has this long statement here, which I'm going to try to read for you. As for your opinion on monetization, I sincerely hope that you realize the majority of our players play for free entirely. At the same time, it's a rather specific game, which does not cost less to develop and sustain if you, care, if you compare it to more casual and widespread titles. What I'm saying is, without any sugarcoating, is... The general level of game monetization is adequate relative to our cost and we won't be able to drop it without also dropping significant efforts and plans regarding the future of the game. What we can and will do, however, is, is to be more considerate, make less mistakes, and keep a balanced approach regarding random mechanics. Okay. What are these big plans you keep going on and on about? Honestly, wish I knew. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to... Give us a hint that you're going to try to do modern ships next. That's the only big thing I can really think of. If they're doing some significant effort is, is, is either more maps, more special modes, or modern warships into the picture. Like I'm thinking 1960s, 1980s. I don't think they'd go past 1980s. Honestly, you'd have a lot of issues there. I mean, that's what I can really think with significant efforts and plans, unless they're planning some new modes or new maps or something, but he only said two new maps, so they're really keeping whatever this is, I think it might hint towards modern ships. I already saw a test of two ships at uh, Star Tier, Hanover and Setsuma. It wouldn't surprise me if they're trying to push on to create additional tiers. I hope they don't, because honestly it's going to piss a lot of people off. Especially the people that have put in the time to get into tier 10. It takes a lot more effort these days, so. Don't really see much going on besides people replying. I think this is the same. Yes, 
to the same page. Let's go to page 28. See that currently this is, this is good. Captain Cabby has a good, good post on there. Page 27. Not really, and nothing really much happened besides Yeah, I would say Subot is really a talk to everything. A lot of our responses today are talking about getting a mediator between Mouse, Little White Mouse, and Tribitsu. They're asking Feminine and Pigeon of War. I see Feminine Emily perhaps doing this, not Pigeon of War. Pigeon of War is busy on his Saints Row project. As you can see, not much going on here. Quickly go through here. A bunch of people start calling out Chibitsu, start trying to cause trouble. Oh, hey, I think I missed this. I must have missed this when I was looking at this. Oh look, Femda did reply. I missed this, so I didn't I didn't even know this was here. Fem says, I'd be happy to help where I can. I still care care deeply for the game and the community. Some Octavian would never agree, though he played a big part in why I had no choice but to leave. Wargaming and he has never offered an apology. Of course he wouldn't because he doesn't like he doesn't like criticism. Whenever he faces significant criticism, he runs away. Typical sub Octavian for you. And here there's a bunch of people that that are trying to downgrade Chibitsu. And I want to say to those people, don't downgrade Chibitsu. Chibitsu's been affected just as much as the White Mouse on this, if not more, because Chibitsu was involved in the design aspect. A little bit more. And I say here, and then I say, hey, let's get along here and focus on the actual change at Wargaming. Stop attacking Tribitsu, who's a long time community member, has put countless hours into Worship Super Raid's Wrath mod, and through his work helping the White Mouse, has passed his mod, and so much more. I laid out several things that could remedy the situation earlier. And this is what, I, this is my solution. This is what I'm thinking right now. <clears throat> listen to Little White Mouse and implement Sackville Camera. Listen to her suggestions for improving the game, number one. Number two, look at Missouri credit earning data and adjust credit mission accordingly. Three, make the whole of Wargaming apply business standards of the Better Business Bureau. Four, reveal loot boxes and random bundles chances like you do in the mobile and console ports for World Warships. Five, talk about your future plans for submarines and specifics, such as random... Battle mode implementation date and future changes. Six, take time once once every month to do what's next or forum thread. Restore trust with player base by following through on past and, re and present promises. And I say they're easy enough for you, Subact. Not really much goes on in this thread. A bunch of people. All right, I think we covered everything here. Please remember to... Like, watch, and subscribe for future content like this and mobile gameplays. I do do the Temple Run, and the Angry Birds, and the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff if you guys are getting tired of the wargaming stuff. So look into it, and thanks for watching.